hello hello my lovelies welcome back well by now many of you have heard the news that our favorite flop duchess is returning to the world of podcasting aren't we just so lucky i don't know who was asking for this but apparently harry's wife thinks the public wants to hear her breathy nails on the chalkboard word salad speeches about nothing. Who could forget when Jeremy Zimmer, CEO of United Talent Agency said, and I quote, turns out Meghan Markle was not a great audio talent or necessarily any kind of talent. Ouch. The woman who was appropriately called a lazy effing grifter by Spotify executive Bill Simmons has left Spotify and has downgraded to an unknown and unheard of group who call themselves Lemonada Media. Apparently, this move will see Harry's charlatan wife launch a new podcast series and Lemonada will redistribute her archetypes disaster to all podcast platforms, you know, just in case if you missed the disaster the first time around. You would think this company would be able to see the red flags from a mile away if Spotify wants nothing to do with Harry's harlot and even gave her the podcast series which required over 26 producers just to put out some mediocre work. Does that not tell you that maybe you should pass on this? But hey, They didn't because they think that maybe working with Meghan, the douche of Sussex, is going to be a positive for them. But little do they know, my friends, this is going to be a nightmare that they will wish they never got involved with in the first place. Of course, Megan had to put out a statement which read, I'm so proud to be able to share that I'm joining the brilliant team at Lemonada to continue my love of podcasting. Being able to support a female-founded company with a roster of thought-provoking and highly entertaining podcasts is a fantastic way to kick off 2024. Our plan is to re-release archetypes so that more people can now have access to it, as well as launching a dynamic new podcast are well in the works. I am so eager to be able to share it soon, and I'm overjoyed to be joining the Lemonada family. Before I say anything, my friends, I need to say this first. I have to send my sincerest condolences to Lemonada Media because they are about to be markled in the most epic way and the women who work at the media company will most likely get bullied by Megan since that is her track record and she has done it in the past. So heads up ladies, within Megan's ridiculous statement, she claims they are going to re-release archetypes so that more people can have access to it. This statement right here, my friends, shows me how clueless Meghan Markle truly is. It also proved just how dense she is. And let me explain why. This unknown and never heard of until today, Lemonada, Media, whatever, was founded in 2019. Subscriptions are $4.99 a month. And get this, it only has about 1 million users. Now compare that to Spotify, which is the world's most popular audio studio streaming subscription service with more than 600 million users, including over 235 million subscribers in more than 180 markets. As I record this, it is February 13th, 2024. Six days ago, Spotify came out with their statistics, which showed that as of February 2024, they have had over 574 million active monthly users, that being a huge increase of over 85 million users since the end of 2022. I'm supposed to believe that Lemonada Media is going to get Megan's horrible archetypes flop cast to a bigger audience than Spotify? Yeah, right. <laughs> Let me remind everyone that Spotify had to lie and fudge the numbers to archetypes just to make it seem profitable and successful, only so that Spotify executives didn't want to look like the ultimate jackasses for falling for Megan's big con. 
Let me be the ultimate petty Betty and remind everyone that not too long ago, it was announced Joe Rogan had signed a deal with Spotify worth over $250 million. And this deal will allow him to stream to other services. Kind of like what Megan is doing over at Lemonada Media, but yet Spotify has a much bigger reach. What an absolute absolute downfall. What a downgrade. You know what I compare this to? It's almost like Megan was at the top of the stairs and she has violently fallen down the stairs, hit every single step on the way down and has landed at the bottom, which is Lemonada Media. <laughs> God, I'm a petty Betty. Now my lovely listeners, what do you think will happen here? Do you guys feel sorry for Lemonada Media and the epic markling they are about to receive? We saw how it literally took three years for Megan to release a single darn podcast and that was with 26 producers doing the work for her. I highly doubt she will have that many producers or any producers working for her at this group. But as I mentioned before, what an epic fall from grace. And Megan claims to be one of the most influential women in the world. <laughs> what a joke. With that said, my friends, let me know what you think about Megan's latest partnership in the comments below. And I will catch you all in the next one. Stay gorgeous, my lovelies. Take care. Bye.